Hi, I'm Upesh Patel. I am the Vice President of Business Development at Aqua Security. Aqua Security is a security company built to protect applications that are built using cloud native technologies. So people building DevOps, using DevOps tooling to build applications using things like containers, using things like functions, serverless um, technologies in the cloud, um, the next generation of applications, that's what Aqua Security is there to build security around those applications. So Aqua Security, we're trying to solve the problem of securing applications that are built using cloud native technologies. Technologies like containers, technologies like serverless technologies in the cloud. What Aqua has built is a platform that allows you to build security into the application, use the context of that security, and secure those applications in production as well. We integrate into all sorts of DevOps technologies like the orchestrator, like Kubernetes, like Docker. And uh, we leverage those technologies to ensure that the application that's running is not vulnerable to any uh, security attack. The customers we talk to are DevOps engineers who, have, who are building these applications. So when you're building the applications, you want to check for vulnerabilities in your images and Aqua Security's platform provides that technology. We also talk to IT DevOps, and the DevOps guys are the guys who are taking those applications and deploying them in production. And then we also talk to security, and the security are the team that take those applications and deploy them and run them in production environments. So we're talking to developers, we're talking to operations, and we're talking to security. And there is a term in the industry they call DevSecOps, and the DevSecOps teams are the growing teams that are now responsible for protecting these cloud-native applications. So what are the typical use cases for Aqua Security? So, as I said, DevSecOps are the people who are using our technology. In the developer world, as developers build images, they have a set of um, open source technologies they're using to build their images, they have a set of libraries. The first phase of Aqua's product allows us to scan those images to ensure that the, the, those images are clean. They don't have any known vulnerabilities in them, they don't have any known passwords, secrets, no kind of uh, security threat that could make that image vulnerable. That's the first phase and that really helps the dev developer. What Aqua provides is a technology that makes it very seamless for the developer. So we integrate into the pipeline. We don't, we don't interrupt the pipe. We basically integrate in there. So as the developer builds images, their images get scanned automatically. Those, or when they get scanned, if we find vulnerabilities, we report them back to the developer. We'll give them the recommendation of what they need to do to fix those images. So they can fix them and then move them down the pipe. Once the image has been built, now you need to deploy them. Here we talk to the operations teams. The operations teams are using technologies like Kubernetes, like Docker, like Rancher. These technologies help them deploy these images as containers running in a production environment. Um, there we integrate into these, into these environments where we ensure that only images that have been secured by Aqua are actually deployed in runtime. And then the third phase is really the running containers themselves, the running the application. And there the security team gets involved. The security team needs to ensure that the, the running application adheres to compliance regulations. It, 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 it needs to ensure that the image of the containers that are running only do what they're meant to do. They're not doing anything nefarious. We also have technologies within Aqua to ensure that once a container is running, it's, it doesn't get um, it doesn't get attacked, it doesn't get penetrated, it doesn't have any kind of uh, security threat associated with it. So if you take all three of those phases together, that provides you a complete platform, a comprehensive security platform to ensure that those applications are secure and they're running in a, in a safe environment.